Hi guys, you okay? So I got a call from a ho the home office, uh, another woman, and I had to be the better person because um, I can't play the game. Two nasty people won't make anything happen. Just like two racist people won't bring peace. So I had to um, say, listen, I got the plan figured out and I had to explain my plan instead of being ordered to go at this time, to go and that time and go and get my passport through security. I'm going to say goodbye to people at the airport. Respect that, you know, I'm not alone. I'm a foreigner, but I'm not alone. I'm not alone. Don't assume it. So I, um, I said, look, I will come in, check in. I will show them the letter as you provided because all your rules and regulations is on that letter, which I'm following. And then I'll call you to say I'm at the airport and then I'll say goodbye to my friends properly and then I would come in to security and call you again if that's the case and get my passport. The woman says, well, if you are checking and you want the security guys to come to you, to take you through security, we can also do that. Personally, do I want to be escorted? <laughs> My friends are pretty funny about it. Like, hey, you, you are the, you are the VIP. Should take it on, you know? <laughs> no, I don't want to take that on. I'm going with dignity. I'm going voluntarily because you forced me to finish all my resources. This is what Home Office does. They drag you till you basically resign yourself. The amount of people who died in detention centers in the last year is appalling. And the amount of suicides, of course, that takes place there is appalling. And the mental conditions that people have to go through with the Home Office's game is another thing altogether. And a man recently got stabbed while waiting there. That is pathetic. You know, let's go, let me do the checks for you, right? Let me, let me type it in now. Revealed October 11th, 2018. Two suicide attempts every day in UK deportation centres. Eleventh October two thousand and eighteen. Immigration detention staff thought suicidal man had toothache. Suicide in immigration detention centres kept state secret. By Home Office. Deaths of immigration detainees in removal and detention centers. All these are, are just by typing suicides and UK detention centers. Increase in self-harm and suicides in UK immigration detention centers. That is where I would go if I was to go into hiding, which I'm not living like an underdog for that. This it's 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 crazy. So what had what happened to me 
was this. This is what they usually do in all the countries that I've been to. They try and make you resign yourself. They first, I got a knock on the door in October uh, 18th, September. Sorry, September uh, 2018, on the 18th of September. Got the knock on the door. Went to tell my boss what happened. Had to leave my job. Had to say goodbye to the people I really liked. Cried that day. I thought I got a lot of people to back me up because there was a lot of this. To find that the people standing up for you with a lot of this is declining. And it was only words, lip service. What can they do? But the detention uh, centers uh, know the stories and immigration officers and immigration policies are set like this. They know what they're doing to people emotionally, mentally. They know exactly what they're doing. Because I had been through these processes over the 18 years. And they take you slowly down to the breakdown where you are I left so low and this is what they do so resources slowly goes the people you knew slowly goes they all they can provide the people they know people are not going to give you money your supporters if you really are in a really rich community and got rich friends you might get support but all that's left for normal people is just the, if you're even lucky you got that mental uh, shoulder, uh, emotional, whatever support it is, that person there, if you're lucky. Not many foreigners have this. And they eventually boils down to, they slowly drag you down where your money finishes, everything finishes, people go away, you're left to move, you left with a choice to go to detention center or not, or you, they take you through such a dragging process and they basically drag you to the ground. They, it's like they, they, they got a, 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 they got this plan in place and you are tied with the plan and you've been dragged like a car dragging a person on the floor. It feels like that. And then they, they give you this small piece of hope that you're gonna win this case. You pay for lawyer fees and everything. Uh, only to find that you have the it's part of the plan to not be able to work in six months while they're making their decision so you spend more money into the country and for me what a great thanks I did charity work I put in so much into these countries in this country I put a lot of charity work I gave away my stuff again moving house again I gave away my stuff again do I have time to sell it no do I want to waste my time on that? No. And yeah, send you home with nothing. Leave you at the point where you got nothing and you have to start from the bottom again, if you can. Or in my case, it finally came to the point where I am left with. Either you go into hiding and you get a five-year ban or you go voluntarily. This is what 250,000 euros, including pound value over 18 years, apart from lawyer fees, application fees, visa fees, has come to the world like this. Where even an Indian born in Britain, America, um, Apart from, uh, it's become a thing about nationality, not about being a person. An uh, Indian person can even say, and I'm better than you, because you're Indian from South Africa. That's how this world has even come to. I mean, this is what I felt when I faced it, face to face on my first court case in my whole life, in 2014, when I am standing in front of a person who's probably families from Indian descent and me and is put there as a puppet to fight me and my case. Is British born meat the best? 
in the world? Is American born meat best in the world? Fuck the first world country and second and third world country. We are all people. At the end of the day, we are all people. And this is what everyone wants, a piece of freedom. Pure and simple, it boils down to we are human and people want freedom. You can't control it anymore. And you got blood on your hands by the way you're doing it.